the infamous blueberry matcha from Blank Street. First try. Oh wait, that's so good. Millie's pulling my arm. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, this is shaky as F. Okay, I switched arms, but the blueberry syrup that they use is so good. It actually makes it taste like blueberry. And then I got regular milk and their matcha is so strong because they use like a concentrate. Highly recommend, this is good. Hi fam, so we are going to do day two of matcha latte recipes. And today we're gonna do a raspberry coconut matcha, an iced one. So we're gonna use these freeze dried raspberries and then we're gonna use coconut milk. And I've been buying coconut milk cans and then blending them to mix the milk and the cream together. I usually have been buying the light cans um, or like the reduced fat cans from Trader Joe's. It's literally just organic coconut and water as the ingredients. Okay, now we're gonna make raspberry milk. So we have the raspberry powder at the bottom. And now we're gonna add some of our coconut milk. And I like to use either agave or honey for sweetener. Today we're gonna use agave. Okay, so we're gonna blend this. with eyes. Look how pretty. It's such a pretty pink color. What do I just spilled? To make your life easier, you 100% could have put the matcha like straight in your blender and just blended it all together. But I am being extra, especially for like the aesthetic of the video. And I am going to blend my matcha on its own and then put it on top. This is the matcha that I'm using currently and I'm going to sieve a big dollop of that. I've been whisking my matcha just in like a regular bowl and I use room temperature water and I just whisk it with a regular tiny whisk that I have and you can use literally anything. You can put it in a blender. There's so many options to whisk your matcha if you don't have the ceremonial bowl and bamboo whisk. This still gets super foamy. Make sure you zigzag it. Don't do circles. And it still gets nice and foamy and beautiful. You can do this with any freeze dried fruit. You could do this with strawberries, blueberries, even like freeze-dried mango. I feel like that would be so good in a matcha. And then add your matcha right on top. Look at that. Oh my gosh, wait, it is like the most beautiful thing in the whole world. <gasps> gosh look how beautiful look oh my gosh it's gorgeous mm. i personally really like the coconut taste with the matcha too and so i think i'm a little biased when it comes to the best milk for a matcha Tag me on Instagram if you make any or something like that. I want to see all of your guys' ideas, but it's so good. You can still taste the raspberry, just not a lot. And the raspberry is like a little bit tart. So it's nice that you add the agave to kind of sweeten it and counterbalance everything. But yeah, happy Tuesday. Hi guys. So today we're going to make a matcha in a jar and we're going to shake it. But we're gonna do a brown sugar cinnamon matcha. And I tried cinnamon with matcha like a month ago and it is literally such a good pairing. It is delicious. 
but also brown sugar is so good. When I used to go to Starbucks, I would get the brown sugar syrup in my matcha and it's so delicious, the combination of flavors together. So we are going to make a brown sugar syrup. We'll put that in a jar with ice and cinnamon and matcha and milk and we'll shake it up and we'll have our glorious matcha. To make this simple syrup, it's just gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to water. So we're gonna do half a cup of brown sugar and then half a cup of water in this saucepan. And then we're gonna put it on the heat. We're gonna do about medium heat. And as soon as it starts bubbling and the sugar dissolves, you're done. While the syrup is heating up, we can go ahead and start on the matcha. So we're gonna put coconut milk in the bottom of our glass. What's nice about doing it in a jar is that you don't have to sieve the matcha if you don't want to. So I'm gonna put a big scoop of matcha. I actually don't have any cinnamon currently, but I love using pumpkin pie spice. It's pretty much the same thing. This has cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, clove, and cardamom. And I really like the flavor of all of those. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here. So that's what it looks like in the jar right now. This is starting to heat up a little bit. Make sure you just stir it around. And as soon as the sugar starts to dissolve, you can take it off the heat. Okay, so this is what it should look like when it's done. So I'm gonna turn the heat off and move it to the side to let it like cool for just a little bit. All right, we're gonna put these big square ice cubes that I have in here with all of this. The syrup is totally something that you can make in advance and cool it in the fridge, like put it in a jar or a container and keep it in the fridge to cool down and then you can use it whenever you want. Um, but if you used it fresh, just like me, just be careful because it's really hot, okay? So I'm gonna use this little scooper and I'm gonna scoop a few teaspoons of it into the jar. Now we're just gonna put the lid on this and we're gonna shake it up. It's gonna make it super frothy. It's gonna blend all the matcha together and all of the spices and all of the syrup and it's gonna be frothy and yummy. So let's do it. matcha with water and put it in here too there's just so many ways to make a matcha but i also wanted to show you like an easy way with a jar there's so many different options but this one turned out so good and it doesn't make it clumpy at least for me whenever i shake it <laughs> look how pretty it is it's so green and creamy oh my gosh and you can see that there's foam on the top. So pretty, right? I feel like after I make my matcha, I feel so proud of myself because I'm like, yeah, I just did that. I'm a barista. <laughs> <laughs> so I love using straws. So it's already cold because we shook it with the ice. So let's try it. Mmm. I love it. I love the cinnamon with the matcha. And then the brown sugar just adds like a little bit of sweetness in the back end. If you want more of the brown sugar flavor, then you definitely need to add more of the syrup. I didn't add a ton of syrup. So it's so good though. Mm. Look at that. It's yummy. Cheers. We're gonna make an easy matcha today. This is like your go-to super, super easy matcha. The easiest way, in my opinion, is to use a blender and just blend everything all together. I'm using regular milk this time. I got local milk in a glass container. Now we're gonna put a big serving of matcha. Today we're gonna use honey to sweeten our matcha. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
Okay, well, I don't have any ice, but that's okay. This is a foolproof way to make a super creamy, dreamy matcha latte. Oh, like, yes, she is the moment. She is the star. This is like my go-to classic matcha latte. I would like maybe one or two ice cubes in here, but oh my gosh. Perfect foam on top. This is your perfect matcha latte. Okay, my nail lady is running late, so I went to this place called Selena and got a honey lavender matcha. Look how beautiful it is. They like whisk it with a bamboo whisk and everything. So let's try. Oh, that's so good. Lavender and matcha go so well together.